What's that look like? There you go. Okay, I got the bottom mount tightened. Well, kind of, I tightened it up with the electric impact. So we got to tighten that top cap up. I'll show you what I did. Got a hell of a mess to clean up here when I get done. You gotta get the spacer up underneath here. I'm gonna get it started like that. And climb up under here. Laying the shit here. See, I got a piece of camera on it, it was just right. Get this thing. And lay her on that channel R. It'll hold the back of the cylinder up. What am I climbing out on that side for? Climb out on the side where we're working, huh? And just slide her in there like that. The whole thing still needs to go back a little bit. What I did is I took the top cap and put it in there. Make sure that flange just doesn't have a bunch of dirt underneath it, it won't tighten up right. That'll kind of center the cap in there. Boy, how the hell did I get that one out of there? Oh. 
pretty good little project really you know the, the like the 580 and stuff on the cases shit they're a lot easier a lot easier to do than these but this is a big backhoe Seven ten, I think, is the biggest that John Deere makes. Oh, come on, you miserable prick! Get in there. I'm having trouble getting in on the other side there. Damn floor sweep out of the threads here. Yeah, I'll spend here half the night pressure washing this pad off. Let me get down here. Alright. I should have grabbed all the bolts while I was there. I'll be glad to get this one done. Move on to something else. To this nasty, greasy piece of shit here. or something stick in there or something I'm having a hell of a time here.
my head. All right, we're gaining on her now. Well, let's see here. Ah, uh, that's the wrong control. Let's go like this. Like that. Damn it. It's those little bitty bastards. Where the hell are they? I do not remember. Well, that's not good. it again and I gotta clean this mess up. better than the case. I do like that a lot better than the cases. I hate that going over center bullshit with those cases. It's like, man, can you think of something better than that? Alright. Guys, 
I'm gonna back it up here somewhere, clean this mess up. Look at this, look how bad that spool's leaking right there. Those two spools, look how bad they're leaking. Well guys, it's about 8 p.m. and we uh, put the pressure washer and cleaned the pad off here. Oh, I must have blown them cotter pins off there where I had them sitting on this loader. I gotta put those cotter pins go right in these pins right here. I gotta let the stabilizers back down and put those in, one on each side, the keepers, but turned out pretty good. I pressure washed this off too, and before they were just running out of here, just drip, drip, drip the whole time. So, um, I got the drive line. I went ahead and got the drive line out of it. Um, which end was it? Let's spin this in here. Yeah, I'm trying to show you the slop in it, but it's tough to do here. And she a butte. I got that to do, and then those spools. And all I'm gonna do on these is unhook the clevis pins on them, and then pop the plate off, and then I think I can take a pick and dig the seals out. It's gonna be pretty simple to do, so. Anyways, there's the swing cylinders, and I might video the spools. I know some guy said he wanted me to video that. Oh, I might show just a short video, you know, popping the clevis pins off and pulling them plates off. But other than that, it's pretty well done. Put the deck plate in it, and tell them to come get it and bring a checkbook. Well, guys, uh, finishing this screw zip on this backhoe. Won't be much of a lengthy video on this one, but um had a lot of comments and i have trust me i have pulled these left the trunnion caps alone the bearing caps and swung the boom over and pulled the rods out before i have done that before and left them in there i'm going to point something out to you guys that on these backhoes right here you can see where i took this loose see the shiny marks these cylinders have end caps on them so sure, yeah, you can do that, but you're you you need to have this in the vise to get this end cap off. This some bitch is tight, or it's going to be moving around on you. So to do a complete job, pull the cylinder out. You're not doing a complete job if you just pull the rod out the end of it, because these cylinders have end caps on them with O-rings, and this one was leaking. So we pulled the whole some bitch out on both of them. I just wanted to make that point.